Hi there, I have um, completed this puzzle in two sittings. <laughs> and this is a 1000 piece uh, Coca-Cola themed uh, puzzle. I got this uh, um, in Target for $9.99. And um, until now, I'm still not 100% sure what company this is, but um, I think this is from um, Springbok. And um, this is uh, not a very expensive uh, puzzle. I bought it for the reason, the main reason I bought it is that it has this Coca-Cola um, theme. And um, I just would like to um, build one. Okay, so in the back, I was reading it that this company actually has, uh, uh, also includes premium and the majestic puzzles. I have uh, built a majestic puzzle in the past and the premium puzzle is their wood quality. But this just reminds me of Springbok. I think this is owned by Springbok because um, all the pieces, the feel and everything, interlocking quality and all that, just uh, it's just Springbok. And I, at some point I've proven this to be a Springbok uh, company as well. Anyway, let me just see that if it says anything about that. I think I've read it somewhere here. Um, it could just be copyrighted by, uh, I don't know, Coca-Cola. But, you know, the, you, it's unmistakable. The back of this is like this. So that is undoubtedly a spring box. There you go. So Springbok has, um, um, it, it's very, very good when it comes to in, the interlocking thing. But the back, guys, is just re really flimsy and um, it's not smooth at all. It's very rough and yeah. Okay, so let me just grade this, okay? Um, this was easy for me. <laughs> um, the box is um, not uh, that, I would say, it's not that, um, it's very thin, that's what I can say. It's not super quality, it's just a regular um, box. And it's really, really thin. It didn't come with any poster, so it just came with, uh, uh, it just came in a plastic bag and that's all. All right, so I've made a mistake here because what I did was, instead of um, putting all the pieces together in the strainer first and then, you know, draining them or um, just trying to uh, remove the um, puzzle dust, I did not do that because I was, I was not expecting a lot of dust from this. I forgot and this is a spring box. And um, so I just dumped um, almost half of it in all all my um, sorter boards and that was the biggest mistake I've ever made because I'm telling you this has got to be the worst puzzle when it comes to, to um, puzzle dust this had a lot of puzzle dust until now I'm still wiping everything and uh, it's just really really frustrating because I spent a lot of time just transferring these pieces from one box to another just so i can get get rid of the box because i did not like to well until now there are still a uh, puzzle dust but uh anyway i just couldn't get over that because i was really really upset last night i was like why did i do that <laughs> i was just trying to cut corners because sometimes um, the minimal puzzle dust won't really um, bother me. But this time, there was just a lot. I'm telling you, it's like, I don't know, it's like mound. Well, that's just an exaggeration. But this has got to be the most, I don't know, it had a lot. How many tablespoonfuls? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so box is not that great, but uh, reasonable for the price, I would say and puzzle dust that's my criticism and of course my criticism for this is that um the edges i mean not the edges but the back looks really really rough and i don't know i'm just put off by those things but it does have 
really high quality um, interlocking because it, I think that's one of the reasons why they, they, they you can see that. See, I can just um, pick it up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> one fell out. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's just my thing. So um, I'm still trying. This is unusually big though because normally a poster board, one poster board would be able to accommodate a, a standard 1,000 piece. But this is just slightly bigger. So I had to transfer it on the table. Okay, so the picture is great. Uh, it, it, it's okay. Not that... Uh, um, it has this illustration thing, so uh, it's not a phot photographic uh, thing. This one looks um, clearer, I would say, but uh, this the but the resolution I don't know what the term is, but the picture itself is very very matty, <laughs> very very matte. <laughs> okay, so let me show you this. So this is what I'm talking about. So it has that illus uh, illustration quality. Uh, it's like a painting thing. So it's not as, um, yeah. So, yes. So there you go. It, this was um, fun to build, but uh, no, I was, uh, I was just, uh, sneezing yesterday <laughs> so i think my allergies started when i i've i've been puzzling my skin allergies i think i have ulticaria i've i've because the only thing that i started doing this year that never happened before was puzzling so i'm not sure if i'm i know i'm allergic to dust mites and pollen i don't know if those um if the remnants or the dust also is a contributing factor because i would get really really itchy so i think that that took away the fun <laughs> like last night i was really really mad i was <sighs> okay so um yeah so so i think this is my spring box and uh, um yeah you, th these coca-cola themed um puzzle puzzles are available at target so for 9.99 yeah that's okay so there you go that's just my take uh i'm not really really impressed uh, i'm not impressed with the spring ball i've i was very frustrated with the spring ball also because it was very hard that cake three-tiered cake was very hard and they have odd shapes they they don't have um standard shape so it's very very odd it's very hard to find uh sometimes and you really have to uh push it in if that doesn't bother you then you know that's fine but uh, it was fine it was okay but uh the puzzle does just turn me off so there you go normally it's not a big deal but i don't know why last night i was just really it got to me <laughs> okay so there you go bye